Hey Angel, so where did you get your flares for your for your dart? Yo Angel! Where'd you get the flares? Come on, buddy. You gotta tell me. Oi! Oi! Where'd you get them flares? Hey, Angel. So tell me about those flares. Ah! Ah! You wanna know about the flares? So I've got a lot of inquiries about where I got my fender flares or my wide body, whatever you wanna call it. And I figured what better way than to go ahead and put a nice little video together and go ahead and explain a little bit, everything that's kind of required with, and then I will add a link in the description of where you can purchase your very own fender flares. Let's take a look. As you can see, we just have these self-tapped in here. A lot of people will ask, are they direct fit? They are not. Um, as you can tell, we did have to go ahead and cut some of the parts on here, so this isn't just a very simple bolt-on. Um, if you're not very experienced and don't want to potentially total your car, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Uh, some of the things that we did have to go ahead and do is actually cut underneath here to actually make room for the flare to go over, as well as for the wheels to actually fit. If you look toward the front, these are the exact same fenders that are in the rear. Clearly they're a different shape because we did go ahead and cut them differently and sand down certain edges of them as well. Um, if you come in close, this is the part that's not very pretty. So if you take a look under there, you can actually see where we actually folded, cut, and hammered in a lot of the parts of the car itself. Once again, not for somebody who's not very experienced with this and if you don't want to lose the value of your vehicle. But, um, other question I do receive a lot as well is fitment. Now, as you guys recall, when I first went ahead and installed these flares on here, they didn't look the greatest. Uh, the Varstone wheels that I have on here, these are Varstone ES2s. They, I got them in an 18 by nine and a half with a plus 12 offset, which does go ahead and give enough, a little bit of poke on there, but not enough for these fenders. So if you come in close, you can actually see right inside here that I do have a 25 millimeter spacer. I will go ahead and provide a link to the guys who went ahead. I had these made out of a gentleman outside, I believe Nevada. And there's 25 in the front and there is 35 in the rear. Now, one of the really beneficial things with spacers, I know a lot of people kind of run into a lot of risks, like, oh, like, are they safe? Now, don't cheap out, don't go on eBay, don't get just like a $60 set. Uh, these four sent me back at almost about $300. The really nice thing with the darts, as most dart owners know, is that we do not normally come with lugs, lug nuts. We have the lug studs or lug bolts. These spacers, you can actually purchase them where you'll get a traditional, just regular studs out and you can actually use regular lug nuts. So you have a little bit more variety there. Um, overall, um, that's mostly what we did on there. And then of course my car is lowered on BC Racing coilovers. There's a couple of different brands out there. BC is the one that I trust the most since I've seen the most performance out of them. But there you guys are. Dodge Dart, Fender Flares, Wide Body, whatever you want to call it. But it completely changes the uh, image of the Dart and kind of gives it a little bit more aggressiveness. So. If you like the video or have any questions at all, feel free to sh share them in the comments, hit me up on Instagram, and we'll catch you on the next one. So, Angel. You gonna tell me about them flares?